In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a TRC railroad crossing that isn't ringing even though it has a bell sound effect and is scripted to ring. First, I got to go to Content Manager and look for the crossing in question. I'm also going to change the thumbnail on this one because it really annoys me when the thumbnail doesn't match what the object actually is. So I took a picture of it so I can use that as a thumbnail. Before I do this, I'm going to first test this crossing on a different route to see if the problem was the route or if it's actually the crossing that needs to be fixed. Sometimes if it's just the route, deleting the crossing and putting a new one down fixes the problem. Now that I know that the crossing is a problem, I gotta change the script. To do that, I'm gonna open another content window, and for this one, I'm gonna search for a crossing that's actually working, like a, a crossing I've tested before and I know works. I normally use this one because I've tested it in the past and I already know that the bell works on it. First, I open this crossing in Explorer, then I copy the file called trc.gs, that's the script file for this crossing. Then I open the crossing that isn't working in Explorer, and then I delete the old script called trc.gs and paste the new script there in its place. As soon as I find it, because my goodness, this new Windows 11 layout is so confusing sometimes. In order to change the thumbnail, I'm going to use that picture I took earlier of the crossing and copy and paste it into the folder. This is optional. You don't have to change the thumbnail in order to fix the problem this crossing has. This is just because I don't like it when the thumbnail doesn't match the actual item. Now I'm resizing the image because obviously the picture I took earlier is too big. If I remember correctly, the correct size is no higher than 512 by 384. Now I'm going into the config file and changing the name of the thumbnail to make sure it matches the one that I previously made for it. Now all that's left to do is submit the edits. I also did the same thing for the other crossing. After making these changes to the crossing, you'll notice the menu for the crossing looks a bit different than before. That's because this menu is tied to the script.
If the problem still persists after all that, the only option left is to delete the crossing and place it down again and then set it up again.